Would you love to have an expert's opinion and some quick thoughts on each sandals resort? If so, this video is where you want to be. And well, if not, there are plenty of other videos about all different topics on the channel. Hey there, I'm Addison, founder of Reliant Destinations and MyCaribbeanLuxury.com. Welcome today to this channel, Mr. Travelux. I am very pleased to bring you this video today, which will talk about the different sandals resorts. There are many of them, so it's going to be a rapid fire thing where I just shoot off some highlights in my general opinions for your benefit. Hi, I'm Morgan, executive assistant to Addison and fellow sandals and beaches expert. Before we dive into this exciting video today, I would love to encourage you to take a quick peek at the description and comments below. There you will find so much information that you don't want to miss. From a beautiful must see digital brochure to further info about this topic and contact details for Addison and the team, you will certainly find it worth a moment of your time. Yes, as we're discussing these resorts, if you do have any thoughts or want to plan your next trip to tropical paradise, you can reach out at hello at reliantdestinations.com. Also, if you did book in the last 14 days, just saw this video, got a little trigger happy, you can still reach out to hear about what kind of added value can add for you. Those are for bookings made online or over the phone. As YouTube's largest sandals and beaches channel, I am now thrilled to present to you my quick thoughts and opinions on each sandals resort. I'm buckled in and ready. I hope you are too. Let's do it. Today we start over in the island of Jamaica, and we'll start right where it all began, over at Sandals Matigo Bay. Jamaica was the home of the recently passed founder of Sandals and Beaches Resorts, the Honorable Gordon Butch Stewart. As the original proper Sandals Resort, this was always very close to the founder's heart, and as such, even though this resort has been around for quite some time now, this resort has constantly been renovated, refurbished, and had new innovations and new love poured into. It. It's a longer resort with an amazing beach that's located right by the Matigo Bay Airport, which does mean you get some amazing aircraft coming in very low to wave hi to. And yes, everyone does that. I think this resort has some of the best dining in Jamaica and at this moment is the only sandals resort there with the Butch's Chop House concept, my favorite place to eat. Anyone staying in club elites or butler elite services at this resort do also get private BMW transfers between the resort and the airport. Down the road, you have Sandals Royal Caribbean. This is a stay and play resort with Matigo Bay, which means you stay in either, you can take the shuttle between and have the best of both worlds. This resort does feature some very cool innovations. For example, like a private offshore island that has a water transfer that runs between. It's a bit of a laid back resort and on that private island, there is amazing dining concepts. It can lead out to the over the water bungalows. And yes, there even is a nude beach there that's tucked away at the back of the island if you'd like to give that a try. Between these two resorts, there are 21 dining options. Well, you can't beat that. And now we zip across the island to Negril. Sandals Negril is situated along the famous Seven Mile Beach there, and it is rated definitely one of the best beaches generally in the Sandals portfolio. It has some of the best sand, the best water quality, and overall the best beach in Jamaica when it comes to sandals, and is a great place to stay. Now, it's not a massive resort, but it is quite long and narrow and there are lots of things to do here and some great activities. For those who love water sports, relaxation, and also just some great beach vibes, well, Sandals the Grill could be a great choice. Zipping now all the way across the island, we end up over in the Ocho Rios area. There you will currently find two Sandals resorts and a third that's about to open anytime. First, you have Sandals Ochi. Sandals Ochi is the largest of all the resorts in the Sandals and Beaches chain. And Sandals Ochi features all three tiers of service and has some of the cheapest butler rooms overall. Now, these are going to be very traditional, classical luxury experiences because of the entry price point, but it's a great way to try the Sandals all-inclusive concept there in Jamaica. Next door to it, you have Sandals Royal Plantation, which is a very small, intimate, all-butler resort. Guests staying at Sandals Royal Plantation can visit Sandals Ochi, but not the other way around. Due to the size of Royal Plantation, the service is excellent and the rooms are quite quaint and it is an amazing, intimate atmosphere. And if you want somewhere like that, where you can lay back and have some romantic vibes on kind of a tiered cascading cliffside, well, this could be a great resort for you. 
finally we head down to the south of Jamaica in the White House area where the old Sandals White House was renamed Sandals South Coast. This is a large sprawling resort that has recently had many renovations to it. There is an amazing Dutch village now that features some very, very modern and innovative suites. And there is also Swim Up Rondeballs, which was the first of its kind in the Sandals concept. Here at Sandals South Coast, similar to what you have over a World Caribbean, you also do have over the water bungalows, which are at this resort in a really cool heart shape. From many dining options to an amazing indoor cabaret for evening entertainment, Sandals South Coast is a great full-on standalone Sandals all-inclusive experience. As an honorable mention because it is yet to open as of filming this video, it is coming very soon and you'll have Sandals Duns River. This used to be a Sandals resort that had closed down and is now being reopened as what will hopefully be the best of all of the Sandals resorts. With concepts like swim up rooftop rondeballs and some really, really stunning innovations, particularly the dining sphere, I am particularly excited for this resource opening. In fact, this property was handpicked by Gordon Bush Stewart, the founder of Sandals, and was selected for this particular project before his passing. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that, and if you're watching this video after it opens, definitely get in touch for more. Next, we shoot over the Caribbean to the island of Curacao, where you have Sandals' newest resort, Sandals Royal Curacao. This is a modern, trendy, and hip vibe there in this resort. It is great for those who love to put things on Instagram, and it is a Dutch-speaking Caribbean island. As a fairly safe Island is pretty famous for exploring and there are some amazing areas, for example, where you can view canals similar to what you would find if you were to visit the Netherlands itself. There are Dutch bikes to explore this amazing estate and some great dining. You'll find also the Butch's Chop House, or should I say Butch's Island Chop House, in this resort. You also have some amazing suites, some new bungalow concepts. Well, let's just say that everyone who has visited this property so far that's been a client of Reliant Destinations they've been overly pleased. Changing islands, we now go over to the island of Antigua. Yes, pronounced Antigua. There you have Sandals Grand Antigua, which is a fairly sizable resort. It's the only Sandals resort on the island and it is situated on Dickinson Bay. Overall, the beach quality and water is very nice at this resort, and it's also situated in different villages so you can have different flares. This was one of the original Sandals Resort, and currently it does have more of a classical vibe to it with the traditional side of luxury over the very modern that you'll see at some of the other resorts. But for those who like a laid-back atmosphere, gorgeous beach, and to try something new, Hey, Sandals Grand Antigua is a great place to go. Now heading over to one of my favorite islands, we end up in Grenada, where there is Sandals Grenada. This resort is considered the most innovative of the Sandals resorts, particularly when we head into the Butler Elite concepts. From Butler Villas with plunge pools and stunning open space bathrooms, to rondeball conical concepts as small private villas, to what we call the Sky Pool Suites, which are these stunning suites with these amazing plunge pools that hang off the side of the building with panoramic oceanfront views. Even outside of the Butler Elite Suites, this resort truly is special and innovative. You will have a sunken fire pit pool there in the middle of the resort along the beach. You also have different fire pits in different areas around the resort, giving it amazing vibes. There's a pond. There are some gorgeous viewpoints. There are fantastic dining options. Overall, Sandals Grenada is really a special place. Highly recommended. Now we jump an island or two over and end up in Barbados where there are two Sandals resorts which are literally positioned yeah, right up next to each other, Sandals Barbados and Sandals Royal Barbados. Sandals Barbados was the original Sandals resort on this island and features some great things, but Sandals Royal Barbados definitely took it up a notch. Now I classify these two resorts together because they are literally one resort complex and when you stay at one, you're having all of the amenities of the other. The rooms and suites at Sandals Barbados will be a little bit more affordable and on the classical luxury side of things. Well, over for Royal Barbados, they will be new, innovative, modern, and overall very trendy. And over at Royal Barbados, it starts with the club sandals and butler elite tiers only. You won't find the entry level rooms there. At this complex, you will have a glass beachfront infinity pool, rooftop infinity pool, a very cool rooftop bar. You have a couple's lover's lane bowling alley with its own dedicated craft your bar, the list goes on. I think you get the idea. Headed over to my personal favorite island of St. Lucia, where you have the World UNESCO Heritage Sites 
of the Piton Mountain. The Piton Mountains are truly stunning and you can have a view at any of the three Sandals resorts there. First, we'll talk about the southernmost one, which is also located in the northern tip of St. Lucia, which is Sandals Regency Latak. This resort is split up into villages and each village has a very unique flair to it and they are along a cliffside. Some of these rooms and suites have the best views I've personally seen at any of the resorts and particularly in the Butler Elite Suites with a private pool. Imagine hanging your arms over a pool and looking into the panoramic sunset. Well, you can do all of these things at Sandals Regency Latak. And even if you're staying in an entry level room at this resort, when it comes to pools and dining, you can have these views and you can have this wonderful vibe. And oh, with these three resorts in St. Lucia, there are shuttles that run between. So you can have your cake and eat it too in St. Lucia. You can visit all three and have any ambiance your heart desires on a given day. Oh, and if you're staying at this resort, make sure to step into the pub and have a look at my favorite hidden gem there, which is a library. I know it sounds funny, but pick up some of those books there and see what the oldest one you can find. At the moment, the oldest I found there is 250 years old, some with really cool handwritten notes. So fun little fact. Working our way up in St. Lucia, next we have Sandals Halcyon Beach Resort. This one doesn't have a ton to say about it because there's not a ton there, but what you need to know is that at this resort, well, it is truly a small tropical utopia. Its tagline is regarding the true garden of Eden in a tropical paradise, and there you can have these amazing tropical gardens, a great beach, and overall a very relaxed, romantic vibe. If you're looking for more adventure and more activities overall, you would simply just head north to the northernmost tip of St. Lucia and the northernmost sandals there, which is Sandals Grand St. Lucian, and a grand resort it is. This resort is majestic and large. It is sprawling and it features some amazing areas, stunning entertainment, a wonderful beach of which you can have some of the best sunsets. I mean, look at this sunset. How can you beat that? It has great dining. It also has a wonderful pub there with a billiards room, things like darts. Yes, that's me playing terrible darts. You'll have to excuse me. Or, well, that's Morgan playing terrible pool, but that's besides the point. Needless to say, there's tons of fun to be had at Sandals Grand St. Lucian. And if you visit this resort, I think you will have a great time. There's over the water dining, rondevals, over the water bungalows, over the water chapel. There, there's so much more here. But if you ever want to see something very unique, Sandals Grand St. Lucian could just be the perfect choice. And now we finish this video going back up the Caribbean to the northernmost island where Sandals has a resort. And this will be in the, you guessed it, Bahamas. First, you have the newly renovated Sandals Rural Bahamian. I've visited this resort several times since its reopening and I am very pleased overall. From really cool swim up suites to my favorite gym I've ever seen where you can work out with views across the Caribbean, well, this really has some special things. And at this resort, there is also a new coconut cove. So this coconut grove, coconut cove area, there is entertainment there. There is a bar there with some really cool swings. In the evening, it really comes alive, sometimes with fire shows. And best of all, there are some new food trucks there with some tasty delicacies you don't want to miss. The beach is great at this resort and it even has its own private island with, of course, a water shuttle that runs between. So there's definitely a lot to do and see as Sandals Rural Bahamian and as one of the most recently reopened resorts at Sandals, I have to say, it's definitely there waiting for you. Finally, in the Bahamas again, but just hopping over a few islands in the collection, you have Sandals Emerald Bay. Sandals Emerald Bay is located in Exuma in the Bahamas and the most popular thing to do there is, well, you might have guessed it if you've seen some videos about this, is swimming with the pigs. This is definitely the number one attraction in the area, but even as a resort, this resort is pretty cool and has a fantastic beach and those emerald crystal waters as the name of the resort suggests. It's worth knowing that at this resort, it's only club sandals and higher. There's a half acre pool with zero entry and overall the service here tends to be really great. So that's a great way to finish off this video, which this video is just some very quick highlights about each of the Sandals resorts. As you can see, each of these resorts have their very unique ambiance and something that's very special to them. So again, if you are thinking to plan your trip, what I've done is I have kind of dangled a little carrot here, so you have a little sampler opinion on each of them. But if you want to know more and if I can help you select the best for you, make sure you have the best deal and make sure you're in the best possible hands with also some exclusive insider access, 
you are welcome to reach out anytime at hello at ReliantDestinations.com. I thank you for taking the time to stop by this video today. Make sure to have a look on the channel where there is so many different options there. There you can find things like insider tours of different resorts explicitly. Most of these resorts, in fact, we have insider tours on the channel of. Also different room tours of different suites and in particular, also some fun facts you need to know videos like these and many more. Thanks again for stopping by. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe so we can bring you much more content in the future. We look forward to it. I hope to see you around maybe in resort sometime very soon. Take care.